Hey everyone, Scott here with Forever Armed. Today we're going to start a series of videos on one-handed gun manipulations. And in today's video, part one, we're going to take a look at drawing the gun, reholstering the gun, and reloading the gun with your strong side hand only. So in my case, I'm right-handed, so my right hand is going to be my strong side. Alright, so now let's take a look at drawing the pistol from your strong side only. Uh, now, I carry an appendix in concealment. Uh, if you're someone who carries a 3 or 4 o'clock position, this demonstration will apply to you. And if you're someone who open carries, uh, you just don't have to worry about moving a cover garment out of the way. So, with my uh, support hand, I'm just going to put that high in my chest to get that out of the way. And with my strong side hand, I'm going to grab my cover garment, bring it high up on my chest, just like I would if I was using two hands. But in this case, I'm going to drag my hand across my chest and my stomach and get a full firing grip on the pistol. Okay, from here, I'm going to draw the pistol out at retention position. Now, if my target was 0 to 5 feet away, I could fire on the target from this position. If the target's further away, I'm going to have to press the gun out. So I'm just going to press it out just like I would if I had two hand grip on it. Get my sights aligned. Get my sight picture focused on the front sight. And if I decide to shoot, I'm going to put my finger on the trigger and press the trigger. Okay, now as you can see here, my gun is at about a 45 degree angle right now. Uh, this is the natural extension of your hand. If you ever just you know, go to point at something and put your hand out naturally, it's usually at roughly about a 45 degree angle is where your hand is going to go typically. So that is the way you're going to want to position your pistol when you're pressing it out with one hand. Okay. Uh, this also offers uh, better recoil management and quicker follow-up shots. All right. So now if I want to reholster the gun, I'm just going to do the opposite. I'm going to bring it back into retention position. Now, if I have a cover garment, I'm going to have to flag my thumb out here. Okay, have my thumb out, come down, pull my cover garment up as high as possible and out of the way, and then bring the pistol down and reholster. If I need to find the holster, I can use that thumb to flag it, find the holster, and, and then reholster the gun. And then cover it up if I'm carrying concealment. All right, keeping your head up the entire time. All right, now let's take a look at reloading the gun with your strong side hand only. So, I've got my gun out, bang, 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 my slide locks to the rear indicating that I've shot the gun empty, now I want to reload it. Okay, I'm going to bring the gun up, and the first thing I want to do is remove the spent magazine. Now, in a perfect world, if I press the magazine release button, the magazine will fall out and drop to the ground. Let's say it doesn't. I have a couple of options to choose from here. Um, I can do what's called an inertia bump, where I bring my knee and forearm together with some force while pressing the magazine release button. Okay. Hopefully that will make the, the magazine drop out. Another option, if you're using a Glock, is to replace your magazine base plates with these base plates from Gap Enterprise that have this little lip that sticks out in the front. Uh, if you've got that, one option you've got is to take that little lip right there and put that on your belt while push, pressing the magazine release button and rip the magazine out that way. All right. So now that the magazine has been removed from the gun, now I'm going to reholster it. The reason I'm going to reholster this gun is for two reasons. Number one, uh, I've got it in a secure location for when I go to insert a magazine. And number two, if I need to move, having it in the holster is going to be the best place. Some guys will run, put the gun between their legs while they're trying to re while they're trying to reload it. Some guys put it in a pocket. I'm afraid that the gun will drop out of my out of between my legs or out of my pocket if I need to move quickly. If it's in my holster, it's the most secure place I can have it if I need to move. Okay, so now with the gun reholstered, I'm going to grab a fresh magazine, insert it. Now, when I, when I draw the gun back out, the first thing I'm going to want to do is tap that magazine on my hip to make sure that it is seated completely, all right? Now, from here, I'm going to want to roll the gun 180 degrees and put the rear sight on my belt. Now, this is where having steel rear sights is a good thing. If you've got plastic sights, they might break off while doing this. So, you will always want to have your guns optimized for fighting. So with the rear sight now on my belt, I can run that slide off my belt. Now I've got a round loaded in the chamber, and I can get that gun back out into the fight. All right. Please like, favorite, and share this video. Please subscribe to my channel. This is Scott with Forever Armed reminding you to be ready for the moment. You must train for the moment.